Hello everyone, my name is Christian Nicolescu. You know me for a lot of automation with UAPAT. I have a lot of videos about this. Today we'll talk about how the chat OpenAI chat uh, GPD will be able to help a new iPad development. Yeah. So it's not about an integration, it's about how an RPA developer, UiPad developer, can get help for, from this. So from my point of view, the help that can be provided by the uh, chat uh, GPD, it's on the invoke code part. What's the idea? So I have a lot of videos on my um, YouTube channel where I use code in uh, VB.NET, C Sharp, uh, VBA. I did um, uh, a lot of stuff with Node.js and so on and so on. And there are some the type of users that they don't have experience with code. And even if I share the code on my uh, on my videos, uh, I share the code inside of, inside of the video, uh, some users, they are not able to, to understand um, everything or they are not able to understand uh, if they want to modify something for for their um, for their stuff, it's hard for them because they are a software developer. So here, I think it's uh, uh, this chat uh, GPT could be a really help because um, on guiding on the simple code, he will make you understand better, and he will be able to uh, um, he will be able to guide you with the with the correct stuff. So you are not you don't need to search on the internet. And because you don't have the experience, you don't have the, the experience also to, to filter what is wrong and what is right. Okay? So let's see some particular case. So for example, in UiPath, you know that we can use a lot of link comments uh, for sorting, um, uh, 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 search, searching on list, sorting list, uh, intersect, and so on. So I think that uh, uh, this could be very helpful. So if you write link where, uh, as simple as that, um, you will give get an example. So, if you are not so uh, um, uh, uh, so used with link, even I have some uh, videos here. Yeah, you you find you find on my videos how to work with the um, link. But maybe you want something um, uh, something different. So you you see from me how I call it, how I did stuff. But you don't understand some parts. So in in this case. If you go here on the uh, uh, um, on the chat uh, GPT, uh, he will explain you better. The information is correct. He will give you the example, and you will understand better how to modify my code, how to uh, how to do stuff. So, I think for link expression, it's very nice to uh, to work with this and understand better uh, until you get some. Um, uh, you, you get some uh, some stuff on, on this one. After you get some stuff, you write your comment really well. So this is uh, one point of help. Then, he can help also for regex. But for regex, uh, you have tools. You have tools on the internet dedicated, and uh, these tools are very powerful. Yeah, so I don't recommend it uh, mandatory for regex. Let's go and see what else. Remember that I have um, uh, HTTP request. So I'm able to download um uh to download files over the internet and i show you the uh, i give you the the code of the um how i do it in vb.net and you call it but some guys they ask me that it's too complicated and so on so again here on this request chat gpt will be able to explain better i mean uh he will give you stuff on the code how to the how to download and maybe with his explication and with his um uh, with his example, you will understand better. So comparing what you see on my movies, what you see on my code, and with, with what he's providing with details, with correct data, because it's really correct, the, the data from here, uh, you'll be able to understand better, and you are able to develop um, uh, stuff or, or more stuff on yourself with uh, with this download uh, data. Yeah. So again, very good on this part. Let's go. Uh, uh, let's go to the next one. Like we do download, we can do also upload. But remember that it was one also with the form data, which is a complicated one. I share all the code with you and so on and so on. Um, and here, so after you uh, uh, you go, um, you say form 
form data. Yeah, it, it's not an easy one. It's not an easy how to uh, how to upload a, a file that has also form data and so on. So I explain here all the stuff. Um, I, I share the code, but um, uh, for a person that is not so uh, experienced with uh, with the code, maybe it's hard to understand. And I think here he will do a good uh, job. He will do a good job to explain you with details what can uh, can be done here with uh, all this stuff. So again, for downloading or uploading the files using C sharp, uh, C -sharp or VB.net, he's able to explain and provide you more uh, more nice details that allow you to go to uh, better to understand the code and um, do this trip centric. So don't be afraid of the, of the small VB code that I share. <clears throat> and don't be afraid to, to use link or VB in, inside of the uh, uh, UAPath Studio because this guy can help you with, uh, with a lot of stuff, with, uh, with understanding and uh, good understanding. Now let's go further, and uh, I did also some uh, JavaScript. So if you want to see JavaScript with uh, HTTP request, uh, you have here my code. Again, I'm sure that he's able very well to, to answer to uh, to this one. Yeah, the uh, it's slowing down now. Wait a minute. Yeah, so you'll be able to answer to to this stuff on how you can approach and. Using this stuff and using my code, you will understand better and you will understand better the, the approach for this. Yeah. So very helpful to have a parallel stuff for, for learning. Let's see what else uh, we have. Uh, then you know that uh, uh, here with um, Excel, uh, Macros, VLOOKUP, you have experience. You see it also on internet. You, have, um, uh, you can have some examples on Excel VBA. Um, remember that on UAPAT, we have uh, uh, filters for output. Yeah. So on Outlook, uh, when you get the emails, you can put some filters and so on. So to be able to build those filters, I show on the movies how to build the filters, but um, you will be able also to, uh, to explain uh, Outlook filters. And here again, you will find more a more example here. Yeah. So um, um, you will provide you as a code more example and it's again another part to, that can help you to to guide uh, uh, guide uh, your code, yeah, and not be afraid of. Um, yeah, I have to think uh, on code. I I write our uh, Outlook filters, and probably we need to uh, to create on code because this response is how to filter the uh, the Outlook um, uh, without that. Um, yeah, Excel maybe time conversion. So if you have date time conversion, so for me you have to put it. Um, uh, yes, he is just explaining. Let's see if I say uh, code. I will filter code. Control C. Code sample. Yes, you can create. Uh, okay, he doesn't uh, want to provide a, a code sample for, for this. Uh, Excel VBA uh, daytime conversion uh, um, daytime conversion VB done again can be a guide on on, on this. Uh, let's put him to um, uh, to guide on the uh, on this one on on the conversion. I think it's too much for him. Yes, yeah, so on the time conversion, he's able to provide uh, more uh, more data, like good. Uh, now, where I can uh, see, so uh, to be able to split strings, you know that you have some um, uh, split string option when when you do this stuff on v on vb.net. Yeah, again, probably has the, the power to explain what are the um, the idea with the uh, with this split um, string. So when you when you split it with um, you know, when it's um, a space, a char, and 
and so on. So you will provide you some examples to have another reference. Here it's on, on coma, yeah? So you will understand a little how he approach this uh, split stream. For example, you see uh, it's mandatory to put some uh, options and so on. So um, again, he will teach you some basic stuff to understand <clears throat> why you use this, uh, these functions and how to use uh, this function. Uh, let's go further and see what else can help. Uh, subtract string. Then, if you work with the, uh, 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 with Salesforce, remember that in Salesforce you are able to write SQL. I have an, uh, a special one. But for example, there are some clients where even I don't know how to use join on all the stuff. So uh, I can go on um, uh, here and ask him how to use join. Yeah. Okay, he doesn't like it, but. Uh, So we'll explain you what is uh, join and uh, how to uh, to use the the, the well join, okay? And uh, it will give you also example because uh, you need to to, uh, uh, to create it on time. You see, he put join here on uh, connect um, uh, um, account with uh, so he connect the, the the contact ID with account ID uh, with account ID. Uh, with the join and so on. So you will have an example of that. On Salesforce, also you have SOSL, yeah? So I have this function inside of my uh, uh, um, my system. And let's see if um, he's able to explain me what the, what is this one. So uh, SQL, it's uh, some stuff. Uh, this one with uh, uh, Salesforce, uh, it's it's another language where uh, you can search inside. So it's a search language. Yeah? Uh, if this one was a uh, uh, query language, the other one it's a search language. And um, uh, on the search language, you will see that um, uh, uh, you will use it in a, in an in a different way. Yeah. So again, you will have an explanation for this, how to, uh, to work with this. This could be helped. Uh, until he finish, find Joe. Okay. Uh, here, he's able in Salesforce, if you want to filter the report, I have some movies here with the, uh, with the reports, how to do, uh, to do uh, reports. So if we write, um, uh, Sales force report. Uh, you will see that um, uh, here to be able to work with filters, you have to call an Apex procedure. Uh, again, I uh, I provide you the code here, but could be a little uh, hard to understand. So um, uh, we made that data and so. So let's see. Uh, let's see if he's able to uh, um, to help us with uh, understanding a little the uh, the report. Yeah. So let's uh, let's see if um, if he's able to to give us some uh, some details. Again, uh, it's uh, it's for young developers that they don't have experience with with coding. Uh, it's a guide. It's a guide, a simple guide to to understand the basics. So if you are afraid on what you see on my movies and say, "Ah, oh, I'm not able to modify this this stuff," uh, try to use also this um, uh, um, chat uh, GPT uh, to be able and uh, maybe with with my code and with what you see here, you will be able to understand uh, faster the. Uh, what is there, and you will be able to modify yourself how you want uh, uh, the code, yeah? So that's the idea, to, to use it as an additional help. Additional help that uh, you will trust on, on this one. Because you will see how to how he, uh, he will approach the stuff and combining, co combining with what you see on my, my videos and what uh, he, will, uh, he will provide you, you can understand better. Uh, let's see how we'll create a GQL uh, on GRAM. Yeah, and uh, uh, I showed you on the videos here, uh, uh, here on the videos, 
I showed you how to extract the jQuery from Jira, but maybe you need to create it yourself. Yeah. Uh, so uh, on execute the jQuery here. Uh, uh, so basically, you have some. Uh, uh, um, You go inside of Jira and you can extract this uh, uh, GQL uh, if you go to, to advance, yeah? But if you want to build, if you don't understand what is here and so on, and you want to build yourself, I think he's able to, to help you with this, with, uh, uh, with, uh, with uh, understanding how this GQL is working and uh, provide you some example and so on. So again, if you want to see the basics on this stuff, I think it's able to help. And the last step, with parse, uh, parsing uh, JSON in VB.net, uh, again, he will be able to provide you some uh, um, uh, basic stuff. So I have here a video uh, with, uh, let's say, uh, JSON parse. JSON. Yeah, so I have this uh, and explain how to use it in your path with the names and so on. Again, you can have uh, also his uh, um, his idea on 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 parsing this stuff. Yeah. So uh, if you are not uh, so uh, used with code, uh, don't be afraid of the movie. Uh, check also with uh, with the chatbot. Understand basics from the chatbot, and then go to the movie and understand all the the same. Yeah. So let's uh, conclude this video, and uh, let me remember the uh, put the idea back. So the chatbot uh, GPT, it's a tool that will help junior developers on UiPad Studio that they don't have <laughs> experience with coding. They will find on the internet movies of mine or of uh, other uh, YouTubers that have coding inside, and uh, um, they are not able on the first move to modify that code or to adapt that code to to their environment. So I think ChatGPT uh, GPT will be helpful to understand better the code. Then after you understand the information, because the information here is nice, it's nice organized and so on, and. On the internet, when you search, you have to decide. So basically, you have to decide what's good information or what, what's bad information. See, this here, it will decide. So yeah. and after you, you understand this information, you can go further and be able to modify the code that I share and so on. So that's my idea on how the chat the GPD help the RPA developers. If you have an other comments or other ideas, if you like my movies, please subscribe to my channel and write comments and tell me what else you want to think of my movies. Thank you very much for watching. Have a good one. Stay safe. Bye bye.